Scott, over the last 12 years or so, scientists have made huge progress in their research about our tissues and our, our basic cellular structures, especially in the area of stem cell research. So talk to us for just a minute about what exactly stem cell research is and how Christians have looked at this over the last 10 or 12 years. Okay. Uh, stem cells were, when, when we first discovered how to isolate stem cells, they were called the biological mother load. That scientists felt like they'd hit the jackpot in terms of treating various mm -hmm. diseases. And we need to distinguish between stem cells that are derived from embryonic sources and stem cells that are derived from non-embryonic mm -hmm. sources. Mm -hmm. A stem cell is essentially a blank slate cell okay. that can be engineered to mm -hmm. become any of the cell or tissue types in the body. Right. And there, there are, there's a difference between those that are emb embryonic, which are called pluripotent stem okay. cells, which are a complete blank slate. Okay. And stem cells from non-embryonic sources typically are called multipotent, which means they are a partial okay. blank slate. Mm -hmm. So that uh, we, we sometimes call these adult stem cells, mm -hmm. but it's mm -hmm. really from non-embryonic sources. All that means is that they are they're a little bit down the developmental pathway. Right. So that, uh, say, I have, a, I have a close friend that works with neural stem cells. Those mm -hmm. are deri he derives them from the, the brains of n recently deceased newborns. Hmm. Those are excellent if you have spinal cord neurological issues. Hmm. But they're useless if you've got heart problems. Right. Because th they can only be engineered to be certain types of neurological cells. That is, they're partway down the developmental pathway. Okay. With these non-embryonic stem cells, there are no moral issues. Hmm. Uh, because m for the most part, they come from the patient's own body. body yeah. You know, their own bone, their bone marrow or other parts of the body. Mm -hmm. uh, the moral issues revolve around the, the stem cells that are the complete blank slate that come from human embryos because embryos are destroyed in the process of harvesting stem cells. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it so problematic. And it, I think what's, at least over the last 10, 12 years, virtually all of the action in terms of treatments and therapies has come from stem cells harvested from non-embryonic sources. Mm -hmm. To my knowledge, I, I, I could be wrong about this, but to my knowledge, there is only one clinical trial that has u that uses stem cells that are derived from human embryos that's gotten to the clinical trial stage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so all the action so far has been with non-embryonic stem cells. Okay. Now regarding embryonic, uh, the the changes there and how how the research is moving, where's it at right now? How, what's the status of this yeah. research now? Well, it, it's, it's a really good question because in the last, probably in the last two years, mm -hmm. <clears throat> scientists have come up with a new way of obtaining pluripotent okay. stem cells without having to use human embryos, mm. which would be a, you know, if it all gets over the hump, uh, it could actually turn out to be a scenario where science is actually resolving rather than creating ethical mm. dilemmas for us, which right. would be, be, nice. be breaking news. <laughs> yeah. What they do essentially is they'll take any somatic cell, any cell of the body, usually they do this with skin cells, mm -hmm. and, they in, and they will reverse <coughs> engineer the cells to where <coughs> they, the, the best term is to they de-differentiate them, mm. which means they work backwards developmentally so that at the end you have a blank slate. Mm. Now the, the debate is over the, the container for those blank slate stem cells. What exactly is that? Mm -hmm. Is that, have we worked backward to a human embryo? Mm -hmm. And if so, then we really haven't solved much. We've just found a new way to create human, legitimate human embryos mm -hmm. uh, from which we can derive stem cells. Mm -hmm. Or, as some have held, this is an embryo-like entity, mm -hmm. but not a human embryo that's, that's uh, created the same way as we would through you know, cloning, for example, or through the union of egg and sperm. Mm -hmm. 
I think the jury's still out on that myself. My mm -hmm. own view is that we are creating embryo-like entities, not quite the same thing. It's not quite clear to me that if you implant, if you got back to this blank slate stage and you took that entity and implanted it in a uterus, mm -hmm. if a normal pregnancy would develop. Hmm. That, that would seem to me to be the acid test of that. So it's not clear to me that that's what would happen. So mm -hmm. at this point, I'm inclined to say that these are embryo-like mm -hmm. entities and that we actually have found a way to create uh, pluripotent stem cells without uh, creating human embryos at the same time. So if that's the case, though, is this something that's morally acceptable for Christians to it would, embrace? It would be. Okay. I think so. Derived from those sources, I think it would be.